Before I go to the other parable, let's look at another portion of scripture from Matthew. Matthew 12, 6 to 8. Let's break this down. The Gospel of Matthew, chapter 12, verses 6 to 8. Matthew 12, 6 to 8. Let's read, folks. But I say unto you that in this place is one greater than the temple. But if ye had known what this meaneth, I will have mercy and not sacrifice, ye would not have condemned the guiltless. For the Son of Man is Lord even of the Sabbath day. Let's read it one more time. This time, Orbiter, just post Matthew 12, verse 6, and skip 7. Matthew 12, 6, and 8. Guys, watch this. Notice who Jesus Christ our Lord claims to be. Watch here. But I say unto you that in this place is one greater than the temple. For the Son of Man is Lord even of the Sabbath day. Did you catch what Jesus just claimed? He claims to be greater than the temple. Greater than the temple. And he claims to be the Son of Man who's Lord even of the Sabbath day. The Sabbath day belongs to him. He owns it. He's Lord over it. And he determines what is and what isn't work on the Sabbath day. Did you guys catch it? Jesus, the Son of Man, is greater than the temple, and he owns the Sabbath day. He is Lord over it. So he tells you what you can and cannot do. Put it one if you caught that part, because I'm going to unpack the meat of it. Did you understand who he just claimed to be? He claims to be greater than the temple in Jerusalem, the temple of God, and the Lord of the Sabbath, who owns the Sabbath. So he tells you what you can and cannot do on the Sabbath. Put it one if you got it. Put a one if you got it. Okay, now let me tell you why that's amazing. Let's go to Matthew 23, 21 and see what Jesus says about the temple. Matthew 23, 21. Let us see what he says about the temple. Watch here. Watch how mind-blowing that statement is. Jesus speaking. And whoso shall swear by the temple, sweareth by it, and by him that dwelleth therein. Did you catch it? Jesus says, when you swear by the temple, you're swearing by the one who lives in the temple. There's someone who lives in this temple. Who is the one who lives in the temple? First Chronicles 29, verse 1. David talks about Solomon building a house, not for man, but for God. First Chronicles 29, verse 1. Watch here. First Chronicles 29, verse 1. Furthermore, David the king said unto all the congregation, Solomon my son, whom alone God hath chosen, as yet young and tender, and the work is great, for the palace is not for man, but for the Lord, for Jehovah. Did you catch it? This palace, this temple in Jerusalem, is not built for man. It's built for Jehovah God. God lives in the temple. How can Jesus then say he's greater than the temple? Because notice what he said. If you swear by the temple, you're swearing by it and the one who lives in it. So to say that you're greater than the temple either means you're claiming to be greater than the one who lives in it or you're claiming to be the one who lives in it. If Jesus is just a man, how can he dare say he's greater than the temple when that means he's claiming to be greater than the God who lives in it? So what is Jesus claiming to be when he says he's greater than the temple? Not that he's greater than God who lives in it, but he's claiming to be the God who owns it. The temple is mine. I own it, which is why I'm greater than the temple, because I'm the God of the temple. You caught, you caught that? But then he says he's the Lord of the Sabbath. He owns the Sabbath. It belongs to him. So he, he determines what you can and cannot do on the Sabbath. But hold on, folks. Leviticus 23, verse 3. See what it says. Leviticus 23, verse 3. See what he says. It is. It, it is blasphemy if he's not God. But the Sabbath belongs to who? Leviticus 23, verse 3. Six days shall work be done, but the seventh day is the Sabbath of rest, a holy convocation. Ye shall do no work therein. 
It is the Sabbath of the Lord in all your dwellings. It is the Sabbath of Jehovah, Shabbat of Jehovah. The Sabbath belongs to Jehovah. So he orders you what you can and cannot do. But hold on, hold on, Jesus. The Sabbath belongs to Jehovah. He owns it. You just said, you the son of man, you're the Lord of the Sabbath. You own it. It belongs to you. And you claim to be greater than the temple, even though the temple is not built for man. It, it's built for God and God lives in it. Who do you think you are? Who are you claiming to be by saying that you're greater than the temple and the very Lord of the Sabbath? And notice, he as the son of man is the Lord of the Sabbath. Who does he think he is? Wow.